It's beer o'clock on Milo Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Craftwork Brewing and it's a bottle of their Hophead IPA 7 or Hophead 7 IPA, however way you want to pronounce it. Uh, they're from Germany, they're owned by Bitburger. There's the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Lots of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass. <laughs> Definitely a bottle condition brew this one. You can see the yeast floating round. I'll I'll give you guys two split reviews here. I'll show you guys what the, the beer looks like without the yeast. And then I'll show you what the beer looks like with the yeast in a little bit later on. So a slightly hazy beer. One finger white head. On the back here you've got nice levels of rolling carbonation. Let's get the aroma. Oh, it's 8% ABV, if I didn't mention that already. Hoppy and spicy. It smells really hoppy actually, it's, it's almost kind of, some beers, they don't give off much aroma and yet they're really hoppy. But this one's got a really pungent grapefruity aroma and I just know it's going to be a real hot bomb. Let's dive in, cheers. Oh yeah, fair play. <laughs> fair play, Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows is very, very good. It's very crisp, very refreshing beer. The hop oils are not overly sticky. They're not, it's not a beer, you can slightly feel that kind of hop, resiny hop flavour on the lips, that, that, sorry, feeling on the lips and it kind of a little bit gloopy on the throat going down but it's still very refreshing and that's a very good trick to have because some of these beers, some of these American double IPAs can be big and gloopy and they can be almost unrefreshing, they can be they can be too big and too bold and too thick if you like but this holds on to that kind of refreshing feel that a beer should have Especially looking nice and golden like this. Probably our Amarillo, Halatau, Cascade, Centennial, all your lovely grapefruity, fresh punch bowl fruit flavours coming through in the beer. I like that biscuity breadiness at the beginning. And what I really like is that spiciness, that almost nettle spiciness on the back end. It's a very nice beer, very nice beer. Um, a double IPA. Oh, here we are. That's what the beer kind of looks like with all the yeast added. I probably should have given it a bit of a stir, but as you can see, it's slightly, slightly kind of hazy now compared to that quite clear beer that it was before. Okay. Excellent. Um, I'm really glad that I've kind of landed. This This has been 2015. Pardon me. 2015 has been the year of craft beer for me in Germany. It's really kind of, I've, I've reviewed lots of beer from Germany. and I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased because up until now, I've been reviewing lots of traditional, very good German beer, but I'm glad to get my hands on the craft from Germany. And let's hope in a few months time, going into 2016, we'll be reviewing lots more of this great German craft beer. Okay, time for a rating. So I like the look of the beer. It's a very well put together beer. I like that grapefruity, look to the beer. I love that follow through in the aroma, that grapefruity aroma. 
and that lovely tropical, it's quite sweet as well on the aroma. And the, the hop aroma is fantastic on this beer. And then the taste is fantastic. It's a really well, it's not balanced, it's, it's very hoppy, but you still got that, that kind of maltiness in there. But it's a lovely hoppy beer. Rating. Rating. I just gave the Tangerine Dream a seven. This is slightly better. I'm going to give it an eight out of ten. It's an eight out of ten. Thanks for watching Real Ale Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.